Hey guys, Ed Bud here. I hope you're healthy and you're helping out your elders as much as you can. Obviously that could mean you're distancing yourself socially from them to help protect them, or it could mean that you're gathering supplies for them uh, to make sure they've got what they need to keep on rocking. Either way, they've got to hang in there and stay positive. You've got to keep yourself busy, perhaps like my dad who's decided to make a hand dryer out of a old hair dryer and a momentary switch from an old effects pedal. I think he's also put some Christmas lights up now as well to uh, lighten the mood. So a training update for you today. I'm not entirely sure what I'm training for right now. I think everything's a little bit up in the air, but I want to try and keep up my level of fitness that I've been striving to achieve for such a long time. It seems a shame to let it pass. Before I start the training recap, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell below for notifications when new videos are launched. So I've still been getting out there, enjoying Mother Earth, hanging out with the squirrels and the swans, getting some miles in within reason at more reasonable paces most of the time, and listening to lots of music is one of the most important things. So after my recent blasts in the Alpha Fly, sort of testing out the pace of those fantastic new running shoes that I managed to get, I scaled things back a little bit, certainly in terms of intensity, and got some easier pace miles in, around about 7 minutes 53 per mile in the Saucony Triumph 17. This shoe, I feel, holds magic in the midsole. It's kind of always a shoe that kind of urges me to push forward at a faster pace than I kind of initially set out to achieve. The midsole's got like a huge amount of return. I always remember the very first moment I put them on my feet and tested them out uh, over at Up and Running in Poole. Or is it Bournemouth? I think it, I always get confused with those two places. They kind of amalgamated together. But when I tried the shoe out on the treadmill there, I was instantly taken back with how much energy return there was from the midsole. I feel it's a shoe that's got an air of Ian Botham around. I feel it's a shoe. <laughs> I feel this is a shoe that has an. I can't do it. It's too funny. I feel this is a shoe that has an air of Ian Botham, the famous local cricketer. This is ridiculous. He was obviously uh, from Yeovil, I believe, and was an all-rounder, meaning that he could bowl, bat, and field. He was kind of really great at all three disciplines. That Saucony Triumph 17 really does feel a little bit like that. It can be used for sort of more easily paced daily runs, but also for some faster paced miles too. Maybe I could call this Botham. I could, I could name the shoe Botham. Yeah. I'll always remember getting this shoe as well, the first session that I had out in this one. My daughter came along and did some filming for the review. Oh, it was really cool. I've got kept all that footage. I think that's really important stuff to keep, you know. I was kind of watching it earlier on. It sort of kept my spirits up and, you know, reminds me of the future in a weird way. Sort of being sentimental about the future. So kept things short on this run, only three miles just to kind of get out there, get some fresh air, keep the legs moving. Bit of an assessment as well of kind of social activities. Pretty much the only people I saw were runners and a few people walking their dogs. <coughs> that was it. A couple of squirrels and a swan as well. I saw one swan. The next day I fancied some mud and trails, so I pulled out the Terracaiga 5s once again. They did look quite a lot cleaner than this, but um, yeah, they've never been quite the same since I used these for the Ford Abbey race uh, back in, I think it was probably May or June of last year. So I got them absolutely saturated again on the Woodland Trail walk that's quite near to my house. A uh, wonderful walk, lots of woodland areas, loads of different terrain. It was incredibly muddy back there so with all the rain that we've had of recent time. But it was nice to be in a really quiet and sort of serene setting away from all the hustle and bustle. As I say, lots of different terrain there. There's kind of loose gravel, grass, mud. There's some wooden planks as well across one section of the woodland area. Pace was mainly limited, not by effort really, but more by avoiding huge big puddles of mud that are around everywhere. It looks like they're doing some work down there to try and alleviate some of that flooding. These felt great though, really nice. The React in the midsole, you know, the kind of doesn't really feel like a trail shoe on foot. One thing I've noted as well, bizarrely, coincidentally, the tongue of the Terracaiga 5 has a similar setup to that of the Alpha Fly. Um, it's got these kind of pods that feel like they're kind of full of like a spongy gel um, which go across to help stop some of the tension over the forefoot. Interesting stuff. I like that Nike kind of grab ideas from different shoes and kind of utilize them to improve uh, new iterations of shoes. Now these perform really well apart from the very boggy areas of the run. There were some considerably muddy areas where I had no traction at all. I was just kind of sliding and slipping around 
but still quite an exhilarating ride in these. I do quite like the lower drop as well. These certainly have seen some action now. The lugs are just about small enough that it's not bizarre if you're kind of running on a concrete or road. It doesn't feel totally out of place. But I don't think I'd want to do that for too long. I think it would probably wear down the lugs a little bit too much. But certainly a shoe that you can kind of get to your trail first and then obviously have some fun and enjoyment rolling around in the mud. I will place a video um, I made some time back actually before the channel really increased in popularity. So you can see uh, some of the views I would have seen on that trail run. I didn't take the GoPro with me, I just wanted to go out and kind of record it with my mind. And what does that mean? I think I'm up to around about 60 miles in the Kaiga 5s now. The only thing I really don't like about them is the material on the upper around the ankle just are a little bit high. They kind of rub a little on the kind of ball of my ankle. That's the only real issue I have with them. That can be alleviated with a slightly thicker sock, but I feel like you lose a little performance with too thick a sock with that shoe. Moisture-wise, they worked out okay, um, although I would like to try using them with my Seal Skins waterproof socks, perhaps, on my next effort around there. I might go around there later on again. It'll be even wetter today, because it's not nice out there right now. Obviously, minimal opportunities for me to use those shoes over the last few months, but maybe now more opportunities. Who knows what's going on? So I might get a chance to use them a little bit more in those kind of trail areas. It was about four miles that run, 31 minutes, 20 seconds duration, around about seven minutes, 49 seconds per mile. Heart rate was around about 138. A few stops here and there, just to enjoy the scenery. Wednesday got some more miles in, around about six miles, again in the Saucony Triumph 17. Initially, these were gonna be calm, very serene sort of miles, just getting some fresh air, but kind of felt really agitated and I needed to let off some steam. So six miles at seven minutes, four seconds per mile average pace. Clocked in about 42 minutes, 29 seconds. Lift the cadence up a little bit to 164 steps per minute and heart rate elevated easily up into that kind of tempo area of 151 beats per minute average. So getting some close to threshold miles in, in this shoe, like I said earlier, it does feel very much like it can handle all sorts of different work. I've got to say it felt good to be going at some pace. I was listening to the new album from Tame Impala on the old uh, earphones and it just felt really nice to let off some steam and let rip. Take the handbrake off and really go up into sort of fourth and fifth gear. It was good to see some other local runners out there. Kev Burton was getting a few miles in and also good buddy James Hutt. Let's hope that those social distancing measures don't get even heavier soon and we can't get out running. That would truly be terrible and I would have to put in place the 10 meter circuit around the pool table. Let's keep our fingers crossed on that one. Although in fairness, I think it would be quite fun. You know, Ed Bird live stream, 10 meter course around the pool table, a few thousand laps. Hey, what's not to like about that? I think I'd have to reverse occasionally because you get really dizzy just going round and round. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. These felt superb at pace. I've got to say, they really, really do feel great. I looked at a recent run of seven miles in the Alpha Fly, actually, and some of the stats generated from that against my recent run in these. I've got to be honest, there's not an awful lot in it. I'd say perhaps the ZMAX certainly lowers the required effort to reach certain paces. Obviously, then you've got a little bit extra effort that you can kind of place in and perhaps achieve even higher pace. I think it's probably a touch easier to get to that kind of threshold pace using perhaps the Vaporfly or the Alpha Fly or whatever, but certainly this shoe really does rock my world. Of course, I had to get it in the Kafuzi colorway, and those of you who haven't seen my review of this shoe, you have to see the quite awesome insole. Is that not the best insole of any shoe that you've ever seen? It's cool, man. So can you do the right thing and when you Bring this shoe back out, uh, the, maybe the second iteration of it. Make it the Kafuzi colorway. So, a little update on training. A little update to say, hang in there guys. If you can get out there running, please keep doing that. Keep your spirits up, do what you can do. Focus on things you haven't been able to do and be good to each other. Look after your elders. It's time for me to rock and roll out of here. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you click the bell below for notifications of when new videos are launched. Please put any comments you've got down below. Tell me about how you're getting on with this sort of social distancing business. Tell me how you're getting out there running, what you've been up to, where you've been going. Have you changed your kind of running habits? Make sure you hit the like button and share this video with your friends. My name's Ed Bud and I'll be seeing you.